So I thought that I had seen every which way possible to create patches, but I was wrong. In this episode, I'm gonna show you a new way of creating patches that I found on one of our customers' videos. So I came across this video on our customer Jeff Rosario's channel, which we also have an interview with him. If you guys wanna take a look, I will go ahead and link that. But anyway, I came across this video and Jeff was actually embroidering using trash bags. He was embroidering patches using trash bags. And I thought that that was so bizarre and I was like, I have to try this out for myself. So that is what you guys are gonna watch me try and attempt and see if I can pull this off myself. So before we get started with this experiment, please like and subscribe so you can keep this channel going and you can see more of me showing you how to embroider things. Also, want you guys to leave me a comment if you have heard about this and I'm the only one on this planet that has not, or if you are like me and you've never heard of this and you think this is so bizarre, leave me a comment below. The only thing that is required of this project is just your regular hoop, uh, your trash bags. I have two different types. I have a thicker one, which I think might work a little bit better because uh, I am kind of scared about not using stabilizer. That freaks me out. And then <laughs> we have these thinner ones. So for this project, I think I'm actually just going to go with the thick one just to be safe. But I am curious of trying out the thinner one and see how that works. Um, and then I just have regular plain old scissors because I don't want to ruin my fabric scissors, of course, with the trash bags up. Let's get down to it. So in the video, Jeff actually um, went ahead and doubled up the bag. He was using like a Lowe's bag, so it's similar t material to what I have right here. Oh, this is so easy to cut, much easier than fabric. It's like some plastic thing. Okay. I have never hooped a trash bag before. This is gonna be pretty interesting. So uh, I guess they really meant it when they put multi-purpose in the front of the trash bag because this is definitely very wide range of uses. So this has been very easy. All I have is a patch digitized design. It's already on my machine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the machine and then I'll tell you guys what speeds you should take and all that. So every time I'm embroidering patches when it's a patch that consists of all thread, I like to slow the speeds down. So I'm just gonna keep it at 600 for now and see how this trash bag and the machine perform together, and if I need to, I can bring it up just a bit. So for those of you who have never embroidered patches, you may have heard me referring to an all-thread patch, uh, but that's because there's two different types of patches. Uh, with one type of patch, you can actually do it so, sort of like an applique where you place a piece of fabric and then uh, you embroider on the ends of it and then the inside and the fabric is your base. It's more of like your background and your fill. And then there are different types of patches where you actually just, the whole patch is just thread. So um, in those cases, I like to slow it down a little bit more um, than the, just the applique like felt type of patches. This is actually the first time we embroider an all thread patch on camera. Usually we take the other process, which is um, using an actual piece of fabric as the background of the patch. As far as needles, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with my standard 7511 sharp point needle. And I don't think it should be an issue because uh, this type of material kind of reminds me of like, um, water soluble stabilizer, the uh, plastic kind, not the fabric kind. So it should be fine with a sharp point. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and trace. The great thing about patches is that I don't have to worry about centering. So it really does save a lot of time.
mention about patches is that all you need is a patch digitized design in order to create patches directly on your embroidery machine. Um, really all it is is just a design that has a nice satin stitch border that will allow you to just pop it right out. And of course the satin stitch border has to be at the end. So that's just, that's all there is to it. It's just a regular design with a regular fill and then you put the border at the end. Now there are different methods of creating patches. These are a little bit more of the flimsier ones since it's an all thread patch. Um, it doesn't have any base, but you can also create patches with um, felt or twill and embroider with the thread over it, or you can kind of do like an applique patch, which we have done in a video. Uh, basically what we did is that we embroidered uh, over the felt and we just used the felt as the uh, fill for the design. So obviously we're a very tight knit community, pun intended, and we're always looking for ideas. So if you have cool ideas like this one, then get on our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. In there you're gonna find me and thousands of other embroiderers sharing uh, crazy things like this, <laughs> sharing any knowledge that we have and asking questions. So get on Ecamm and if you wanna see uh, a video where I try something out for you that you're too afraid to try out yourself, then let me know in the comments below. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to tune in next week because I have some really exciting stuff for you guys so you don't want to miss it. How do I be charming? Okay. So what did you guys... Okay, no, that's not a good ending. So anyway, don't want to miss it because I... Uh, what are we doing next week? <laughs> and um, I'll see you next week. I don't think that was good. <laughs> I give up. I give up. <laughs> And we're out. Bye.